Now this video we're going to talk about calculators. Uh, and by the way, a lot of people think uh, finance is kind of everything can be done on a calculator. You're going to find out that that's really not true. Uh, finance really isn't five buttons, kind of with one unknown. Uh, at some point you can use a calculator and that's all good, but finance is a process that, 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 that you need to know how to do. You need to know how to process the information. But that aside, we're going to talk about calculators here. Now, Texas Instruments makes a good uh, business calculator and so does Hewlett Packard. Either one of them is fine. You'll get exactly the same answers. They both cost about 30 bucks, give or take a couple dollars. You can buy them at, you know, uh, Office Depot or any place like that. There are lots of places where you buy these calculators. Make sure that whatever calculator you buy now, it has the time value of money functions on it. You'll see an FV and a PV and a, a button that reads PMT and N and I and all that kind of stuff. Make sure that it's, that it's got time value of money functions on it. Uh, you know, that's, that's what you're going to need to use. Now, when I teach you time value of money in here, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to teach you time value of money. I'm not really going to start out trying to teach you how to use your calculator. And we're going to use interest factor tables. But as we get into these problems now, I will, I'll work it out using the interest factor tables so that you understand what we're doing. And then I'll, I'll show you how to work it on your calculator. And so, I want to make sure that everybody gets the same answers as we go through working calculators. A couple of things you need to do with your calculator, whichever one you want to buy is fine. You need to set the number of decimal places to four. If you round off too much in finance, you're going to end up down the road getting the wrong answer because a lot of times they, what we calculate in one part of the problem, we use in another part of the problem. And if you round off too much, you just the, the answer is going to look wrong. And so, to avoid that, set the number of decimal places to four. The other thing that you need to do is set the N. One of those time value money buttons is N. Set N to one. The factory presets N to twelve. So, if we have a problem that deals with ten payments, and you put N equal to ten. Your calculator is going to multiply that by 12. It's going to think N's 120, 10 times 12. The 12 business is about, they think everybody's going to do monthly payments on loans and whatever, and, and that's all fine. But we need to set N to 1 because we're not going to have, uh, everything's not going to be a multiple of 12 all the time. So set N equal to 1 and set the number of decimal places to 4. Now, that big owner's manual that comes with the calculator, that will tell you how to do these things. On the other hand, if you go to the Blackboard site, there's a button named Calculator on the Blackboard site. Press that button, there's a document there that gives you the steps for setting both the Texas Instruments calculators and the HP calculators, two different sets of instructions, but it'll tell you how to set the decimal, number of decimals to four, and how to set N equal to one. So everybody's got to have the calculator set up correctly, but we're all going to get different answers. That's going to get real ugly in a hurry. We don't want to do that, okay? But that's what we're talking about here. So set the number of decimal places to four, set N equal to one, buy either the Texas Instruments or the HP calculator, and I can help you with it if you uh, have some issues. Uh, otherwise, uh, you know, uh, no matter what kind of calculator you buy now, you need to learn how to use your calculator. Uh, whatever it is you think you want to do, you need to learn how to do that. My calculator is much, much different than these ones that you're buying. I can show you how to do some things, but I'm not an expert on, on calculator truck. But, uh, but nonetheless, you do need to buy a calculator, and you do need to set it up correctly so that we, get, we all get the same answer, get the correct answer. And uh, that's going to be what we, uh, what we do. Uh, again, go to the Blackboard site. The uh, instructions for setting the decimal places and the N on your calculator is on the Blackboard site. Uh, let me know if you have any questions after you.